All right, we're started. Hey everybody, a few of you asked for this video, uh, how I do real estate videos and how I specifically edit them in Premiere, uh, Premiere Pro. So let's dive into it. I've pre-set up uh, four little clips here that I'm gonna show through and then uh, walk you guys through how I do both the coloring for this and then just composition. So those are the two big things that I'm thinking about when I'm thinking about real estate videos. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab and create an adjustment layer. Now, uh, when I'm doing real estate videos, most of the time people are just looking at them on their phones. So I'm looking at just a standard 24 frames per second, uh, 1080p. Um, if I was doing videos for like tourism or uh, something for traveling purposes where I want them to be on a big screen TV, then I would look at going uh, higher than that. But really for real estate, I just stick with just standard high def. So create my adjustment layer, drag that over here. And then uh, what I'm gonna do just to make it easy, so I'm gonna put it on all of them and then I'll cut it up here in just a second because we're not trying to be perfect right now. Just showing how that works. All right, so once I have my adjustment layer on, I already have Lumetri color attached, but if you don't have it attached, you can go into effects, do a search for Lumetri, Lumetri color, drag and drop it onto the adjustment layer. Now, some people adjust the actual clip. I like having on an adjustment layer because then I can turn it on, turn it off, move it or copy and paste it and add those to other people or other different clips as well. So, all right, here we go. When I'm looking at this clip here, I make sure that my resolution's in full so that I can see all different differences. And then I'm gonna widen out my Lumetri just a little bit to give me a little extra. On my left-hand side here, I have Lumetri scopes. Again, that's something that you can go and look for. If you don't have it, you can go into Windows. And there it is, Lumetri scopes. And I like having it on the left side uh, and my other stuff on the right side, and then just kind of go from there. Then whenever I'm working with a drone video, I use a DJI Air 2S. Obviously everybody's a little bit different, but I've got my little sticky note here of my presets that I like to just start off with. And so this is my good starting point. I set my contrast at 40. I look at my highlights and I drop them pretty significantly. Shadows, I drop even more significantly. My whites, uh, I drop a little bit. And then blacks, I drop pretty solid too. And then I bump my color uh, all the way up to 185. Okay? Now obviously, once I've got that in there, I had such a massive change to it so that I can start going, okay, I like this, I don't like this. The very next thing I do is I go backwards right up these. And I'm looking over at my Lumetri scopes, okay? And the very first thing I wanna do is I wanna bring my blacks back above the zero line. That way nothing's getting crushed out, okay? And then the next thing I'm looking at is, and I'm going, okay, I've got some really deep shadows in here. So I wanna bring my shadows back up. Don't wanna bring them too far up, right? Don't want it to be, washy like that just kind of want to bring it back up towards the middle line there so that it's it's a good good brightness to it i think right about there's good with me okay and then i like real estate photos to be a little bit brighter so i will always kind of go in not always but generally speaking put in just a touch of extra brightness to give it that little pop and so then there we go even if you were at just this level here, right? Let's take this off to go from there to here is a huge difference. This is beautiful. Like people would pay for this, right? Just like that. Uh, I like to go just a little bit further and let's play it real quick. Yep, looks good, my color's good. Now composition for this one here, pretty simple when I'm looking at it, all I've got to work with here is kind of just a scale. We're already pretty lined up. Next thing maybe I look at is, okay, let's see if I zoom in just a little bit more and then lower it down just a little bit so that we are centered because the main focus is the house. And so let's see how that looks. Yeah, that's good. I think that's, I mean, that's more than enough than 
what we need for most real estate video. Okay, so let's jump over to the next one real quick. Okay, in this clip here, we've got this cool little solar flare. And so sure enough, we're gonna start with those presets again for the uh, 40 highlight minus 30, or sorry, 40 contrast minus 30 highlight minus 65 for my shadows, drop it way down, minus 15, minus, minus 40, okay? And then let's bump up that saturation. I'm looking at it and sure enough, it is pretty dark here. I want to raise my blacks. And again, I'm moving the blacks over on the right side of the screen, but I'm watching the Lumetri scope on the left side, just so that we're out of there. And then I start to play with my shadows. How bright can I make them without it washing everything out? And actually, I'm liking it in the 30s right there, okay? Now, I know we've got a little sun flare here, so I wanna add a little more warmth into this one. Not a lot, just a little bit. Let's, I like five, let's see if 10, 10 starts to make things look a little orange. So let's go back to five. And then because it's sunset, let's add just a touch a little pink in there and let's see how that looks yeah if you add a little bit of music in there as you're coming up that would be really really nice let me it still just looks a little dark and so as i'm looking here i'm seeing that the sky is what's peaking over here but everything else is still pretty dark so let's let's bring it up to no let's bring it up four and by four, I mean 0.4, not actually four. Because if you went to four, you just blow it out completely, right? We're looking at 0.4, well, let's do 0.5. Yep, I'm good with that. And then I'm gonna go in a little bit further. I went into creative, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bump my, my vibrance just a little bit to 10 here. And then we're gonna get a little fancy and we're gonna go into our curves and we're just gonna give it a nice subtle S curve. So what I'm doing is I'm breaking these darks here, right? So you can bring the darks up. This is like using that blacks line or dragging it all the way down. I just want to kind of give it a little bit of a fade there. And then I want to find point right here in the darks that I pull down a little bit just to give those just a touch more. While then simultaneously, I start to bring up the lights. I think that looks good. And what we're trying to create is this kind of like subtle S curve right there. So let's take a look at what it looked like before. Yep, where it's just a little washed out, this here gives it just a little extra life. And then we look back at our basics. Yeah, I mean, that's dull. And now we've got some vibrant life in there. So again, let's just take a little peek here. Sun flares out. That's gorgeous. Add some really good music in there and we are good. Uh, and I like the composition. The house fills the frame. Okay, same thing with this one here, the house and this area here fills the frame. Going into the next one, okay? Now this one's kind of unique because we're gonna pull way back on the drone. Very, very cool shot that we can do on the drone. There's more to this clip here, but I, I trimmed it down just for our purposes. As we come back, we're gonna get just a touch of that sun flare. So we've got coloring for this, but then we also gotta take into consideration of that coloring too. So uh, let's dive into it, grab my adjustment layers. Sure enough, go right back to my presets of 40 contrast, minus 30 highlights, minus 65. And this is why I write it down. Even though I use it all the time, I still just, I forget it every time. Minus 40 on the blacks. And then I punch my saturation way up. Uh, and the only time that I bring the saturation back down is if I'm looking at this and I'm going, ew, I just don't like that color. Uh, maybe it's just a little, little too much depending on the time of day or something like that maybe i'll drop it back down but generally again for real estate photos and such we want it to be bright we want it to be colorful we want people to feel uh, a positive emotion around it okay uh, if we were doing like a music video or something we do something else but again i look at adjusting my blacks and i'm watching the lumetri scope to bring it up uh, so that we're out of there and yeah right about there is good what I'm gonna do real quick is I'm gonna zoom in so that you can see how this is actually affecting this here. See these like dark spots here? It's where the darkness is actually just going straight black and it just it looks rough. But when we come in, sure enough, we can pull that back and we can get all of that detail. 
And then when we pull the shadows up, uh, do a little more with that. So let me zoom back out and see how the whole thing looks. Okay, I'm good with that. Highlights look good. All right, so right off the bat here, what I'm gonna do is I know again, we're doing something a little bit warmer because we're at sunset here. We're gonna give it just that little bit of pink. And then I wanna bring my exposure up. Let's play with 0.3. It uh, looked like it went a little bright. Let me see if I can pull the highlights back down. Okay, let's give that a shot and let's see how that looks on the pullback. Yep, looks good there. Yep, looks good there. And I'm good with that. Let's give it a little more vibrance inside the here. All vibrance is doing is it's taking the actual rich colors and just making them pop a little bit more. Okay, again, going back into our saturation or our curves. This one definitely because we've got such a variation. I like doing that. I'm gonna pull those down just, just a touch. Yep. And then we're gonna pop this up uh, sort of like that. Let's see. Yeah, I'm good with that. Let me, let me pull that down and then let's take a second just to pop up the colors all around a little bit more. Yeah, I'm good with that. So then again, we add some music here as this just slowly pulls back. There's a little solar flare and bam, very, very pretty. All right, last clip here. Oh. Actually, let's talk about composition. I actually really like the composition because again, we start with the full frame and then as we pull back, we get to see all of the yard and it's it's a big yard. All right, let's look at this one here. Okay, so I like subdivision flyovers, but the biggest difficulty with them is of course, uh, which house are we actually looking at here, right? And even though it's this house right in the center, we don't necessarily get that feel. And so what we want to do, there we go. That looks good, just like that. All right. And then, of course, let's go into our image color, put in our standards, 40 contrast, minus 30 highlights, minus 65 shadows, minus 15, minus 40 for blacks, and then pop up my color. And sure enough, I mean, we are really dark here. So we're gonna come way up, get our blacks out of there, pull our shadows back. And then even though it was sunset, uh, we've got plenty of darkness here. So let's bring this up. So try a full notch. Yeah, sure enough, a full, a full point of exposure was more than enough there. So uh, let me see if there's anything else I wanna adjust. No, I think that looks good. Bump this up just a touch, okay. And then take a look at my curves. All right, yeah, I like that. And then let's warm it up just a touch. Uh, looks like it's a little too pinky, a little too warm. So let's go back to where we were. Yeah, all right. And so sure enough, as we're kind of just doing our fly over here, we can, can see that this is our one house. And that's that. Okay, so I've gone and dropped in some music and let's see how it looks with a little bit of music. Yep, that's pretty cool. Jumping on the next one. Yeah, that's nice. Yep. And so that's that. That's what I do for real estate videos. Uh, we go in, put in an adjustment layer, adjust some of the lumetry color for it, and find kind of that wiggle room. If it's a sunset or something, I like adding a little bit more warmth to it just so that you can kind of get that feel for it. Other than that, see you guys later.